ready? Ready. Let's go. Justice League was my first exposure to the Flash and I didn't know much about this character. Uh, but in this video, we are going to review the latest movie from Warner Brothers and DC franchise The Flash. The Flash is directed by Andy Mashit and it's an absolute fun ride and quite and has quite a few surprises. I will try not to spoil this movie as much as possible. I would like to also remind you that although The Flash is the first movie in this uh, Flash series, uh, this is the first time, the first part of The Flash, but it has different uh, references of several old DC movies. In this movie, uh, one fine day Barry Allen, who is, has the power of Flash, realizes that his speed is actually faster than the speed of light. So he decides to go back and pass things. And everything quite fall apart from there on. I love the most part of this movie, the entire idea of Barry Allen meeting his uh, younger self, Barry Allen, in a different multiverse, uh, who is more uh, so much uh, immature and annoying. It's quite amazing. It would almost like everybody, uh, as an audience, is while watching, it will make you question that how would you feel if you meet yourself uh, who is 10, uh, who, who's 10 years younger than yourself? Would you like yourself or not? We and that's uh, I thought it was a uh, amazing idea, uh, and it also reminded me a bit uh, of uh, about the German uh, series Dark, which uh, although this movie has nothing to do with Dark, but it just that theme just remind me a bit. Barry Allen and Barry Allen uh, story I felt uh, was uh, a bit overdone, but uh, it was still uh, fun to watch. Tim Burton's 98, uh, 1998 Batman returning back to screen and it was sh already shown in the trailer. Michael Crichton as Batman, uh, a 70 years old Batman was really uh, uh, the best part of this movie. Uh, the theater was absolutely bursted into cheers and and everybody was cheering and really uh, very happy and that I thought was really a great uh, part of this. Uh, uh, I have seen that part several times and watching the first time in big screen was really great. I also need to mention Sasha Kali as Supergirl. She was great in, in this movie. And to be honest, I didn't uh, expect much, much from the Supergirl, but she really exceeded uh, the expectation. Ezra Miller as the two Barry Allen uh, in two different timelines. I thought as an uh, actor, he did a very good job. and. He was genuine, and the movie overall was genuinely funny uh, in several parts. The CGI of this movie is good in most part. There is part when CGI is not best. Towards the start of the movie, there is a very interesting action sequence where Flash is saving babies, and the CGI babies were falling down. It looked a little weird, uh, uh, and uh, there are many scenes when the CGI is really good. The action scenes, scenes towards the end when the two Flash fighting together was so crazy and hilarious, and it actually a great uh, scene towards the end action sequence and everything emotionally um, this movie did a good job uh, to establish the relationship between uh, Barry Allen and his mother and also his father where he's trying to save his innocent father and uh, going back to timeline meaning uh, meeting his mother it was really a good job although it doesn't really uh, made me emotional or anything but in the story, I quite uh, able to buy it, and I thought that in that sense it was very good and uh, very well done. There's a, a lot of attempt to, uh, to create a nostalgia, and they brought back image of uh, all the old Superman and Batman from 40s, 60s, 70s, even the 1998 uh, Nicolas Cage uh, Batman, which never got uh, sorry Nicolas Cage Superman uh, image was there. Although Nicolas Cage never um, uh, made it the movie never got made but uh, his image uh, as a superman at that time it has been used here this movie has a great sense of madness and w uh, that actually worked uh, in his favor uh, but there is also a bit of a confusion and questions that they were never got answered
I don't want to give away the ending of this movie, but the ending, the very ending of this movie, it just make me wonder that how they will bring back Flash uh, uh, with uh, Justice League and continue this franchise. There is, I have no idea about that. But for this movie, the ending was not bad at all. The ending really worked for this movie, and it's quite, uh, quite uh, all right rated. If I compare this movie with the Mar Marvel Multiverse movies, then uh, they ha uh, I have to say that uh, the re most recent uh, movies that I saw from Marvel uh, is Spider-Man's uh, Across the Spider-Verse, uh, which is an anime movie I just saw a couple of weeks back and uh, I will be uploading the, my review uh, in the next video. So uh, I like that movie definitely more than this movie, but this movie is also uh, quite good and I would definitely recommend you to watch this movie if you uh, especially a uh, uh, DC fan then definitely you need to watch it and it's really quite entertaining and enjoyable movie I really had a great time watching it overall I like this movie and although it's not a great movie but still I enjoyed this movie and my rating for this movie is 7 out of 10 Write down in the comment section that what do you think about this movie and how much would you rate this movie out of 10. And if you like this video, do hit the like button to upload this video. Uh, and also do subscribe the channel. And beside that, there is a bell icon. Hit the bell icon for notification. You can also follow me on my social network pages like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. The links for this will be given in the uh, description box. Thank you for watching this video. Be safe, take care, and peace.